six. So in, in cell B8, we're going to go to cell B8. We're going to apply or the auto sum button. So on the home tab, if you're not in the home tab still, you're going to go to the home tab. You're going to apply the auto sum button, which is this one. The auto sum button, you press it. And then you, you see how it highlighted B4 to B7? Well, it's going to automatically add all those in B8. So once you see that, you press enter, and then you're going to autofill, or you're going to yeah, autofill the rest on the bottom right, and you're just going to drag it all the way to June, which is D8. And voila. See how it, it, it added all those up as well? They're all different because it's adding this side and then this adds that side. So we're still not done with step six. We're going to do the same thing for E4. E4, we're going to use this home button, auto sum. We're going to press it and it's going to, now it's going to add the row. You press enter. For that, then after that, you're going, what you're going to do is you're going to go to, Cell format, you're going to format the auto fit column width. Oh, just kidding. No, then you're just going to go all the way to the top. I mean, you're going to auto fill. Don't ignore what I just did. Let me put, okay, now we're going to do, we're going to do it again. Auto sum. You're going to press enter. What we're going to do is we're going to format. We're going to auto fill the rest all the way to total and see how it adds all the totals. Perfect. From there, what we're going to do, we're, okay, we're done with step six. Step seven, we're going to apply the heading Okay, step seven. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna apply heading number four to the row titles and the column titles. These are the column titles. These are the row titles. So we're gonna apply style. The style it's under the home tab. We're gonna go to the more. And we're gonna do number four, and then we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do the row the column ones. We're gonna apply the same style heading number four, and then for Step seven, the one, the, the then for the total, what you see here, we're going to apply the total. See how it bolds it? And when you click out of it, it has two red lines and one red line at the top. Week five was, we're on week six, is open already, we're on week five, no week six, week six was. So we're, we are done with step number seven. Step number eight, we're going to apply the accounting format. The accounting form, number format is here under home button, on the home tab. Under the numbers, this is the money sign is the accounting format. We only apply to the first row and the second row. See how it does the, um, it changed it to, it gave it a dollar sign and all that. But we're still not done with um, step number eight. The second part of step number eight, you're going to highlight the things that we did not change, and we're going to add commas. To add a comma, it's right next to, it's close to the, um, the accounting number format, which is this right here, comma style. See, it added a comma to those numbers. Now we're done with step number eight, and we're going to step number nine. 
Step number nine, we're going to select the data that represents April through June and the items. So we're going to, from A3 to D7, we're going to highlight all that, and we're going to insert a chart. To insert a chart, we are going to go to the Insert button at the top of the Insert tab. I'm sorry. Now we're going to the Charts. We're going to go to Recommended Charts. Click on Recommend the Charts. We're going to look for Clustered Column Chart. Clustered Column Chart, you, you go one by one. The names are at the top right here, Stack Bar, Stack Area, Line, Cluster Column. There's two Cluster Columns, so you don't make a mistake and choose this one. Where you, we want the months to be on the category axis. The category axis is this. This is the value axis, and this is the category axis. So what we're going to do, this, see, these are, if you do this one, you're, you're going to get deducted points because this has the item axis. The category axis using the items or the, the name of the gems. Or the, yeah, the, uh, the gem items. So you have to use the month as the category axis. So you just press OK. It's just going to pop there. We're done with number nine. We're going to move the chart. And number step number 10, we're going to move the chart. Made a mistake. When you make a mistake like this, just control Z. Always control Z will always be your best friend. We're gonna put it like it says in the merge in the center, but I can't really do that because. Okay. So, so we're gonna move. It says to move it in the center position of cell A10. We can't really do that. Because then we have to drag the center right. Okay, so the rise, the 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 sizing handle are these little circles. As you see, what how it switch, switches. It's it's telling us to use the center right. This is the center. We're gonna have to drag it all the way to the E. See how the the items became came into one single row that's what it wants you to do so there's a last part to this that you have to you have to ignore it's not into step 12 that you have to do this last part i don't know why it's in step number number uh, step number 10 but you can't do it until step number 12. So the, 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 it's after you add the spark line, center the chart below the data. You cannot do that because you still haven't added the spark lines. So it says after you add, but yeah, you don't add the spark lines to step 12. So we'll come back to that after step 12. Okay, now step number 11 with the chart highlighted. See, if it's not highlighted, you can just click anywhere in the chart. It's going to highlight the chart. You're going to apply chart style number six up here. And then you're just going to hover until you see six. Here's number six. Then we're going to change colors. So you change colors over here. Next, you're going to change colors. You're going to, it says to change the color to the second row. Second row is this one. You click it, it'll change, it changes the colors. And then we're going to change the title. Title is. Up here, we're gonna add. We're gonna change it to second quarter home gym sales. Just click anywhere. Change the 